Welcome to Pro Stitcher Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. Have you ever had your thread break partway through a design or run out of bobbin and thought to yourself, how do I get back on track? I'm going to show you how. On the screen, you'll notice that I have this big alarm thread break. Please load thread. So we need to start by doing that. I'm going to X out of both of these warnings and take a moment and rethread my machine. So now I'm ready to get back to action. To start with, to recover, we want to go to the Pro Stitcher tab on the screen. From the ribbon, select New Start and End. And because it's the start point that we want to select, over in the sidebar in the Start column, right underneath the word Start, we're going to tap the word Auto. Now if you notice, that turned green. I need to turn it off so that that point doesn't move again. So we'll click it one more time. Now, if you'll notice here, my needle is beyond where my stitching ended. So I want to back up a little bit from where I've actually dropped that new start point. To make this a little easier, I'll select the zoom tool first. And then just using my finger, I'm going to draw a little square right around that space so that I can zoom in and really see what I'm doing. I need to move this start point back to somewhere along here. My thread break was about right here. I want to move it back so that as it picks up, it's going to be right here where these two lines of stitching cross so that it will easily hide the knot. So let's come back over here in the start column. We're going to move that stitch back. So we want to move backward in the stitch line. So we'll select this button. And this one moves one stitch at a time. You can see that that's a little slow. So I'm going to come down here and select this arrow and move back one design point at a time. It's moving back along here. Now another way to do this is you can also grab the slider bar and just move it. But you can see that that moves a little bit faster than maybe I want to be moving. So we'll go back to this arrow right here. Let's move it so that it's right there where those two lines of stitching cross. That's perfect. Okay, now let's double check. I do have my machine threaded and I'm ready to start stitching again. I want to touch my refresh button so I can zoom back out. And then over here above resume, I want to turn my tie off on and my pull up on so it will pull up my bobbin. Let's go ahead and touch resume. And I'll be off and finishing this quilt before you know it. We'll move the machine to the side, pull up our bobbin, hold on to those threads, touch the resume one more time, and I'll have this quilt finished in no time. Another way to move that start point is to move your machine and use the auto. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna make sure that my motors are unlocked. I am in pause mode and I will move my machine back. You can see my thread break right here. I will move my machine back so that it's just maybe about an inch before where the thread break happened. So on the screen, we'll make sure our Pro Stitcher tab is chosen. On the ribbon, we'll choose new start and end. In the start column, let's touch the auto button, but let's be sure and do it twice. That way, if we move the machine, our start point won't move with us. Once again, we'll turn our tie off on, our pull up on resume, and touch the resume button. We'll pull up our bobbin, hold on to that, touch resume, and get this quilt finished.